good grief, it's hot out here and the sun's probably coming out. And it's just been raining nonstop and it's humid. Noob Nugs. Hey everybody, I'm Bonnie, one of your Florida State Representatives, and welcome to Noob Nugs. This is the series where we answer questions for all of our new Jeep sisters about everything Jeep lifestyle. On our last episode of Noob Nugs, we talked about being a noob camper and things that you wanted to consider as you were putting together your list of things that you would need for camping. As we previously discussed, primitive camping is included with Lady Jeepers registrations for in-person training events. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare yourself for camping. So here's the thing, whenever we try something new, it takes practice. Not all things come naturally to all people, we all have different skill sets, and sometimes we have to try a couple things out before we'll know it's going to work. And the same is true with camping. Some people love tent camping. Some people, like myself, I'm not gonna be in a tent. The only way to know how you're gonna feel about a couple things is to practice doing it. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. The best way to get used to your new camping gear that you just purchased is by practicing with it. The first thing you might want to try is putting that tent up, assuming that you're in a tent, of course. The first tent I ever had got erected for the first time in my living room, and it drove my dog insane. But it was good to see how it worked inside where I was comfortable. The next thing I would advise is try packing out your vehicle. It's always good to have a test run about how all those bits and pieces are going to be put into your Jeep or however you plan to travel for your event. It's kind of like a Broadway show. You don't just wake up one morning and you're like, oh, I'm a Broadway star today. I mean, I do, but that's mostly just me singing in the shower. To be a fantastic Broadway show takes rehearsal after rehearsal after rehearsal after rehearsal. And yes, this is me like flailing around with a rag to wipe off the sweat because it's so humid out. Just like your first time out on the trails, when something's new, you've got to practice at it. Practice putting up that tent, work out the kinks in your system, practice how everything's going to get put into your Jeep. So that way it's a routine for you. And so if you decide to go out one weekend, it's not a lot of thought there. You can just pack and go. Something else to really consider. Try camping in your backyard. Put your whole kit together, do some dress rehearsals, sleep outside. But in your backyard, where if something goes sideways, you at least have the protection and safety of your home. It's a little bit more comfortable. And if you realize you've forgotten something, you can grab it from the garage or the house. Practice your full setup in your backyard so that that way you can get really comfortable with your situation. If you're someone who's gonna be bringing pets along, it's a great way to practice with them because when you put them in a new environment, it kind of freaks them out and nobody needs that on their first camping experience. You want it to go as smoothly as possible. And the best way to do that again, what's the secret word? Practice. And for this, we're gonna practice in our backyard. Do it for a couple weekends. It's actually kind of fun. Assuming the weather holds out, I can't do it yet. It's still too hot. Camping out in your backyard is a great way to test your gear. You might find that there's something you love about your gear. There might be something you absolutely hate about your gear and you're gonna run out and replace it right away because it's just not worth the hassle. I have done that plenty of times. That's why we go through the dress rehearsal to figure out what works and figure out what doesn't. And honestly, it doesn't take the fun out of camping to kind of get good at it. It actually makes it more fun because it's less stress once you get out there to your campsite. For your maiden voyage camping, the first time you've ever camped before, if it's not going to be at a Lady Jeepers in-person training event where you have plenty of support, then you wanna make sure that you first camp someplace really close to home. This is about feeling comfortable and feeling secure and knowing that there's an out just in case something goes sideways. Planning your maiden voyage close to home provides that safety and that security. And that's not to say it'll go badly the first time. It's just nice to know that there's something that you can do in case something goes sideways. And honestly, if you've left something at the house and the house is easy to get back to, pick it up real quick and get back to your campsite. As close to home as possible, if it's not a Lady Jeepers event. At Lady Jeepers events, there's so many people there. We'll probably have what you need. <laughs> Between all of us, we're gonna have something for you. When you get to your maiden voyage campsite, get out of your vehicle, take a walk around. The same way you'd approach an obstacle. You wanna check it out before you drive up and over that obstacle because you have to know where stuff is. The same thing holds true for your campsite. Get out, kind of think about where you want everything to be. Where's the tent gonna be? Where's the kitchen gonna be? Where's the fire pit? Look at all these things so that that way, when you set up, you only have to set your camp up once. 
in setting up your campsite, you also want to take into consideration your personal safety. The things that I always think about are what can I see from which area of the campsite. I just like to be vigilant about the things that I will be able to see from my campsite. Always check out your surroundings when you pull up so that way you're comfortable on your campsite. When you're setting up your campsite, other things to watch out for are tree roots, because I've tripped over those enough times, spiders, because they're going to be everywhere, and snakes, otherwise known as nope ropes. In some cases, beehives or wasp hives might also be an issue. These are things that you want to start looking at as you're doing your campsite walk around before you set up. Jeeps and camping go hand in hand, especially at Lady Jeepers in-person live training events. The first time I ever camped was actually at the Osceola 101 class back in 2019. I had no idea what I was doing and I was really happy somebody knew how to put up my tent because I still wasn't really good at it. You know why? Because I didn't practice enough. Practicing your setup, camping in your backyard, getting proficient with your gear, knowing where everything is going to be laid out, knowing how to pack your Jeep with all of your gear in there. It's going to make for a much better camping experience. It's going to teach you what you need, what you don't need. It's going to teach you how to use your gear, what you love, what you hate, what you can live with, and what you can't live without. Camping doesn't always mean bring the kitchen sink, although I literally have a kitchen sink, but it requires some practice and a little bit of wiggle room so that you can have some creature comforts that you cannot possibly live without, and you can leave the rest of the stuff that you didn't realize you didn't need at home. As with everything, Practice makes perfect, so get to your backyard and start practicing your camping. It will make your Jeep life so much better if you enjoy camping and you know how to do it. And the only way to know how to do it is to practice, practice, practice. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Noob Nugs. If you have any comments, anything you'd like to see us cover here on Noob Nugs, please email noobnugs at ladyjeepers.com. And thanks as always to Lady Jeepers for allowing me the time to share these Noob Nugs with you. If you'd like to see previous episodes of Noob Nugs, please visit my YouTube channel, Over Noobin, where I'm noobing my way through Jeep learning, camping adventures, and overlanding experiences. I hope you're out there living your best Jeep life, and we'll see you next time.